travelled that well, particularly down here in New Zealand. What makes this side different? I think from 2002 onwards, we started winning abroad and, you know, uh, wherever we have travelled, be it uh, Australia, West Indies, South Africa, uh, now New Zealand, England, Sri Lanka, wherever. I mean, we've, we've won test matches abroad and we've, we've uh, left some fantastic impressions behind. So, you know, you're just uh, uh, carrying forward that confidence and... Uh, and uh, the energy is uh, extremely powerful. It's it's very positive, and that is what uh, that is what we are trying to retain in the side. You know, uh, once once you get the ball rolling, it's important to be right behind that and uh, keep it rolling all the way. Now you've been in the game a long time and achieved so much. What motivates you or drives you to keep going now? Well, I've uh, always been a firm believer of uh, chasing your dreams. I think uh, chasing your dreams is extremely important. And my dream was to play for India as long as possible. I mean, that was the ultimate thing for me. And um, it started because I was in love with the sport. And once you are in love with the sport, you know, there's there's uh, no need of uh, someone coming and motivating you. The motivation is there. I mean, uh, the cricket lives here in my heart. So. I don't think there is any need for anyone to come and motivate me. I'm, I'm motivated enough. I, I care about cricket. I I know that uh, billions billions of people are, uh, you know, expecting uh, something good from Indian cricket team. And then and, and when when there are such high expectations, you obviously are going to be on your toes. And uh, you know, it's fun to be in this position. So, how much longer will cricket lovers be able to enjoy the batsmanship of Sachin Tendulkar? I don't know. I am not in a position right now to answer that question. I've not made up my mind uh, about retirement. I mean, I, I, I'm extremely happy to be in this position, as I said earlier, and I'm enjoying the sport. I'm enjoying my every outing out there in the middle, and uh, you know, it's, it's been fantastic. There have been various challenges, uh, ups and downs, and. Uh, you know, it's, it's a circle of life and I would want to complete the circle, you know. Uh, I don't know, uh, I've not thought about it. As long as I'm enjoying and I feel I can give my best, then I would continue to play. The day I, you know, start feeling otherwise, you know, I know that it's time to stop. Now, finally, you've played against quite a few New Zealand teams over the past 20 years. How does this current team compare to those that you've come up against in the past? Uh, it's a it's a, it's a good lot. I mean, it's a, it's a young side. Obviously, uh, earlier when we played, uh, they had uh, experienced players in the in the team, and uh, right now you see uh, more youngsters, and uh, it's it's uh, uh, it's about finding the right combination, right players, the right slot. And I'm sure uh, you know uh, you have uh, experienced uh, players uh, in in New Zealand cricket who who. Uh, who've contributed and uh, would uh, still wish to contribute uh, to New Zealand cricket by in the form of maybe coach or selector or you know just uh, just as a mentor or whatever so uh, I don't I don't think it's time to worry I mean cricket is a funny game the moment you get momentum things start looking differently and, and, and it's just a matter of time and that's the reason we wouldn't want to be caught off guard.